Arcturian, The Mission. November 1, 2015. Dearest students of truth we come to you in love, bringing that which we know you are ready to understand and integrate as you help to bring forth a new world. Life on earth has become a wild ride for many, with lives disrupted and comfort zones all but gone. This is what you volunteered for. You knew and yet chose to experience everything necessary for personal as well as the collective evolution of mankind. You were well aware that these times would be tumultuous ones as hardened world beliefs and old energies began to dissolve, creating massive resistance within the old world order. The world is in the midst of many major transitions as a result of the ever more intense higher frequencies of light now pouring to earth and available to all. Those choosing to go with the flow of change will experience fewer painful issues than those who resist. You are being reborn dear ones, and as you know, birth is not always easy. The task of accepting new ways of seeing and being can be wrenching for those still solidly fixed in the old ways. These dear ones continue to stridently seek completeness outside of themselves through people, places, and things all the while living in fear of the unknown because a consciousness of duality can only manifest as duality, bad good, sickness health, lack abundance, right wrong. Secure and comfortable only within the boundaries of what is known and accepted by collective consciousness, and ignorant of their own innate power and identity. These dear ones continue looking to the rules and beliefs of others for direction until at some point this approach no longer works and they are forced to begin their journey of awakening. You are evolving into a consciousness that remembers who it is, into the light beings that you have always been but did not realize. Be not afraid for all is proceeding according to plan and know that nothing real can ever be lost. You will experience the same wonderful things that you love now, only on higher levels. Attempting to figure everything out is impossible as the human mind is limited to what is already known in collective consciousness. Many serious students continue to hold to concepts that define spirituality, its appearance, definition, paths, and associated experiences, much of which was valid in the earlier states of consciousness but is now obsolete. Let your intuition guide you as to what if any practices may be helpful for your spiritual growth, not current trends or something being hyped by the media. You may find that a book seems to jump out at you, or a class or teacher draws your attention, but many of you are finding that you are being guided simply to be still and quiet. Spiritual journeys are all individual and the teachings that lead to illumination for one, may not resonate at all with another. Many of you are experiencing physical issues as old cellular memory surfaces to be cleared. Often a physical body's weakest area serves as the exit point for these releases. If you are experiencing some recurring physical issue rashes, aching, etc. and nothing is ever found to be wrong, then it is probably the clearing of old cellular memory energy. Send light to the cells of your body in the area and allow the process. Many of you, in fact all of you, chose to enter into this lifetime bringing with you any remaining energy from physical, emotional, and mental injuries of the past so they could be once and for all cleared. You knew these times would be an opportunity to ascend and that these old and dense energies could not come with you into the higher. Intense experiences of every lifetime will remain stored in cellular memory until cleared, so be patient dear ones. The process is ongoing, but does not happen overnight. Try to see the lesser physical discords not so much as calls for medication and doctors, but more as indication of clearing. Trust your intuition and if you are being guided to seek medical help then seek it with no sense of spiritual failure while not allowing fear be a determining factor. Learn to pamper yourselves, resting more when you can, being still and quiet, and doing the things you love instead of feeling obligated to continue in some old routine that no longer resonates simply because it has always been done this way, family and friends expect it. It is time to stand in your power, lovingly making choices that are right for you, and not adopting choices that may be right for someone else in order to be loved and accepted. Many of you are work at jobs every day and taking a nap is not an option but learn to slow down, going within and resting in center often as you go about your day. State an intention to release all that may be serving to block your unfolding awareness of truth. Most importantly learn to love yourselves and the journey living out from a state of gratitude for every experience, not judging it as good or bad, while simply moving through it. 
Many are desirous of being on earth during this powerful time and are not able to be here. These dear ones watch eagerly from the other side, wanting and hoping for the best in mankind's journey of ascension. You are the plows plowing the debris of negativity and hopeless ignorance out of the way through your hard work. You are the nitty-gritty hard workers who are making it possible for coming generations to be born into the higher world consciousness you are creating. Many issues you find so troublesome now, will not even be known to future generations. Pat yourselves on the back dear ones, for each of you chose to courageously assist in the evolution of mankind through bringing attention and change to commonly accepted world concepts based in duality and separation. Know that many illumined souls are on earth at this time in bodies and situations judged by the world to be less than perfect simply to evolve world awareness and bring change. Remember this when you are tempted to negatively judge some person or situation. Never ever believe that you are spiritually doing nothing, serving no purpose, or that you are not a real light worker based on comparison. The light of your awareness is continually adding to the light of the collective consciousness in ways you will never know. Let go of any and all judgment you may still hold about yourselves based in world concepts limited to appearances, that money, clothes, looks, power, sex, education, location, etc. are true standards of value. Everyone is a divine being on earth at this time for experiences chosen pre-birth is necessary for learning and spiritual growth. In reality, no individual is better or less than another. An individual state of consciousness determines what manifests outwardly as his experience. There comes a time when each individual must accept and move in their masterhood, no longer a full-time student or simply a clearing house for the world's old energy. Many of you are now ready to believe, accept, and live as the spiritual masters you have become, letting go of seeing yourselves as unawakened students forever seeking. Forever students often live in the belief that this is humility but it actually represents a sense of separation from who one really is and serves only to delay spiritual progress. The point of years of study, seeking, and practice, as well as all the personal and world clearing experiences is to bring you to the point of mastery. Many of you are ready to step into your masterhood and let go of the books, classes, paths, and tools that assisted you to where you are now. Allow these tools to pass to those newly awakening students you will find yourselves guiding. Step fearlessly into your power dear ones, accepting who and what you are, and trusting that everything needed will be given when needed. Your attained consciousness of wholeness and completeness, will draw to you your spiritual work whether they be students, spiritual work, or new awarenesses and more light. It is time to be that which you have been seeking through lifetimes. You have learned and integrated the deeper truths through years of study, meditation, and practices and have arrived, should you choose to accept this. As each soul's ever-evolving light flows and connects with the light of other awakened souls, Earth will become saturated with higher dimensional frequencies of light and unconditional love. It is then you will begin see the many changes you seek. Hold your light within a consciousness trust dear ones. Trust yourselves, love yourselves and be yourselves. The time is now to reclaim your true power and be. We are the Arcturian Group.